Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you all today? Are you all excited to learn something new? Very good. I am excited to teach you too. Did you all watch my last video and learn the lesson the shell falls apart? What happened in that story's end? Yeah, a selfish tortoise jumped from the sky and broke its shell. But luckily, it was put together by a medicine man, right? Have you ever wondered why a tortoise needs shell? Yeah, it's to protect itself from other animals which try to kill and eat it. Can you name some animals that hunt and eat other animals? Very good. And a tortoise shell protects it from predators. What are predators? Animals which hunt and eat other animals are called predators. What are they called? Yeah, they are called predators. Let's repeat the word again. Predators. Very good. Predators are animals which kill and eat other animals. And the shell of a tortoise protects it from predators. How? When it sees a dangerous animal around, it would pull its head and feet inside the shell. Its shell would be so hard that no animal can break it and the tortoise would be safe inside. Hmm. Have you ever wondered how the tortoise got its shell? Today, we are going to learn a poem on the very subject, How the Tortoise Got Its Shell. This poem, How the Tortoise Got Its Shell, is very different from most other poems. This poem actually tells a story. I know, fun, right? Poems like this which tell a story are called narrative poems. What are they called? Narrative poems. Look at this picture. This is a picture of a Greek god named Zeus. He is the god of the sky, lightning and thunder. What is his name? Yeah, shall we repeat that word one more time? Zeus. Very good. So one fine day, God Zeus decided to get married. Wait, what? You want to know where he is from? Okay then, let's take a look at the map of Europe. Because he is from a country called Greece, which is in the continent of Europe. This right here is a map of Europe and this country colored in blue is Greece. There are about 44 countries in this continent and countries that you must have probably heard of like Russia, Italy, France, Germany and even Britain are located in this continent. You may have probably noticed this already but Russia right here is the largest country in Europe. How do we call people from Russia? Yeah, we call them Russians. And people from Italy? Italians. Likewise, people from Greece are called Greeks. Since Zeus is a god worshipped in Greece, he is a Greek god. Okay? When God Zeus decided to get married, he made an extravagant. Extravagant means very expensive wedding plans. He did the best decoration. He arranged for a delectable feast. Do you remember what the word delectable means? We learned it in the last class. Yes. Delectable means delicious. Fantastic. So he arranged for a delectable feast. And then, when all the preparations were over, he invited all the creatures in the forest. Creatures means animals. Repeat the word after me. Creatures. Say it louder. Creatures. Very good. Fantastic. And all the animals were so happy to be invited. They cleaned themselves up properly. They put on their best clothes. And they rushed happily and excitedly to attend his wedding. God Zeus did not leave out any creature in the forest. He invited the flyers. What are flyers? Yeah, birds. Birds that fly are called flyers. He invited the flyers. He invited the creepers. What is the meaning of creep? To move with the body close to the ground is called creep. Which animal creeps? 
yes snake he invited the creepers he anim he invited animals that hopped animals that ran animals that leaped from one place to other can you give me an example of an animal that leaps from one place to other yeah excellent kangaroo yes that's how you pronounce kangaroo okay it's not kangaroo it's kangaroo it's coming back to the story he invited all the animals no matter how they moved from one place to another all the animals were invited not all animals look the same right some are tall and long like the giraffe yes children that's how you pronounce giraffe it's not giraffe it's giraffe okay so he invited all the animals um, he invited the tall and short animals he invited the fur and bald animals fur and bald oh that's two new words right here okay fur <clears throat> fur means the soft hair on animals can you give me some examples of animals with fur yeah bear fox cat there are so many right but there are some animals which are bald also bald means without hair can you guess one look at this picture in this picture there are two animals that are bald that means without hair oh there are actually three look elephant rhinoceros and hippopotamus and king zeus invited all the animals to his wedding no matter what they looked like you probably know this already animals find their food and eat it in different ways some hunt their prey kill it tear it apart and eat it like the lions and tigers such animals are called hunters or predators some animals look around and find their food like fruits and they eat them by biting it and chewing it can you give me some examples squirrel giraffe monkey these animals can be called finders and biters because they find food and eat them by biting it and chewing on it some animals nibble nibble means to take a small bite of something like deers they nibble on grass so such animals may be called nibblers and some are just gulpers they don't chew their food at food at all they just gulp it can you name a few which gulp their food snakes frogs and even lizards and god zeus didn't leave any of them out and he invited all the animals to his wedding no matter what or how they ate animals make different sounds too right wow look at the dog barking around me yeah dogs bark cats mew parrots squawk rats squeak peacocks scream lions growl owls hoot but that didn't make a difference either king zeus invited all the animals to his wedding no matter what sounds they made and when the great day arrived what is the great day yeah the day of the wedding of god zeus when the great day arrived animals and birds with their paws and claws came from different parts of the world they came from forests they came from mountains and even seashores they came from all directions can you name the four directions yeah they are north south east and west yes children all the animals from every nook and corner of the earth came to attend the feast only one animal was missing can you guess which animal it is yeah you are right it was our tortoise it was the only animal in the whole wide world which didn't attend god zeus feast the wedding celebrations went on for 6 days and 6 nights usually how many days do wedding celebration last maximum 3 right but this wedding is very special it's the it is the wedding of god himself so it went on for 6 days and 6 nights all the animals ate heartily they danced and they sang and they enjoyed the party they clapped and cheered the god and they flattered him a lot flatter means to praise someone a lot 
and this made god zeus very happy and they all enjoyed their maximum at the party and only left after 6 days and 6 nights but only one animal in the whole wide world didn't attend the feast and that was our tortoise and on the 7th day when all the celebrations were over god zeus appeared in front of the tortoise and he asked her why didn't you attend my wedding celebrations little tortoise were you sick is everything okay and for that the tortoise lifted her head very slowly and smiled her slow small smile and she said a wedding feast might be fun but i am a very simple person i am happy only when i am in home by myself how would have god zeus felt when he heard this reply he invited the tortoise kindly and when it didn't come he even came back to enquire after it and here the tortoise was giving a rude reply if you have if you were in king zeus place how would you feel you would feel sad right on hearing the reply of the tortoise the great god felt very insulted he was furious what does furious mean yeah he was very angry so he said to the tortoise how dare you insult me from this day on you will carry your home on your back for ever more and from that day onwards tortoises had to carry their home with them wherever they went and according to folk stories that was how the tortoise got its shell did you enjoy the story did you like it okay before we read the poem shall we quickly go over the meanings of some new words okay you tell me what are animals that kill and eat other animals called yes they are called predators what does it mean to praise someone a lot yes it means to flatter them okay when it rains there are flashes of bright light in the sky right what is it called it is lightning and with lightning we also hear loud crashing noise from the sky what is that yeah that is thunder what what is the soft hair on animals called very good that is fur how many how many did you get right out of 5 good now repeat the words after me okay predators flatter lightning thunder fur shall we repeat it one more time predators flatter lightning thunder fur very good okay i've got some more words for you which mo- which word means the same as without hair yes bald snakes move slowly along the ground can you give another one word for that yeah crawl or creep talking about something enthusiastically ray to take a small bite of something nibble animals that are hunted and eaten by other animals prey what is another word for angry furious shall we shall we read these words please repeat them after me bald creep rave nibble pray furious shall we read it once more very good bald creep rave nibble
ಬರೆ ಫ್ಯೂರಿಯಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಯೇ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಶಾಯ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಫೀಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೈ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಜಿವೆಸ್ here cried doesn't mean that he actually cried with tears okay cried could also mean saying something loudly in excitement so let's read again from the first come to my feast cried the great god zeus today i shall be wed and from each corner of the earth all zeus creatures sped look at this first stanza here wed in the end of the third line and sped in the end of the fifth line are rhyming words okay in the next stanza you have to find the rhyming words yourself shall we read the second stanza okay the flyers and the creepers the long the short the tall the crawlers and the leapers the feathered fur and bald hunters biters finders fighters hooters whistlers roarers squeakers screamers skulkers dreamers nibblers gulpers borers okay you tell me which word in this stanza rhymes with roarers excellent the word borers rhymes with roarers paws and claws from hills and shores from south from north from west and east from mountain tops and forest floors all zeus creatures join the feast except the tortoise tell me children which word rhymes with shores very good floors and which word rhymes with yeast fantastic feast rhymes with yeast let's read the next stanza they raved they pranced they feasted danced six days and nights each creature stayed to chatter flatter clap and cheer at the great gods grand parade except the tortoise which word rhymes with stayed here very good parade next day why weren't you there my friend asked zeus the day that i was wed the tortoise smiled her slow small smile let's read that once more the tortoise smiled her slow small smile and raised her slow small head a wedding feast is fun i guess but i am a simple one i'm happy by myself she said there's no place quite like home what did she say repeat after me there's no place quite like home and how do you think god zeus felt at this reply he was furious read it read after me how dare you stay away roared zeus i'll show you 
just what for from this day on you'll carry your home on your back for ever more and that's how children the tortoise which didn't have a turtle in the beginning got its sorry got its shell i am not making this up this is not factual this is just a legend what is the meaning of legend legends are traditional stories but they are not absolutely true did you like this poem did you enjoy it okay then tell me what is the style used in this poem yeah nar narrative style this is a narrative poem a narrative poem is something which tells us a story i hope you enjoyed this no no don't go now i've got one last question for you is a tortoise and a turtle the same actually no look at these two pictures the first one is a tortoise and the second one is a turtle can you see the difference uh, look at its uh, look at its limbs a uh, limbs means its feet look at its feet and look at its head can you see the difference yeah and look at its shell the shell of a tortoise is more round it's dome shaped whereas the shell of a turtle is flat you see tortoise live mostly on land and turtles live mostly on water turtles come to land or turtles come to the seashore only to uh, lay eggs and they live mostly on the uh, sea actually there are a uh, lot more differences but um, that's on you do some research find out the difference between a turtle and a tortoise and uh, if you find any more differences that i didn't mention in this video do leave it in the comment section below Well then time to say goodbye so long farewell why what what is that you miss me already you don't want me to go oh so sweet of you to say that i miss you too love you all my kiddos bye bye